Assalamualaikum and welcome to my vlog, Mishi Aponte Blended Family Vlog. Um, today I will be doing a um, quick uh, haul. I did international grocery and I will be taking you along with me as you all know. I have a very tough schedule and I try to do a meal prep. I have made uh, promise to myself I will do meal prep bring food from home whatever it is and for that I have to do a preparation at least a day in advance for the whole week or sometime two days so I'm lagging behind but we will go and see what it is so yes I you see you are looking at plain paratha i those are frozen paratha and i love this brand because you don't need to use oil and they are pretty good um they are good for omelette they're good for a quick snack they are good for breakfast i just fill up with some potato or to or omelette or egg and i take it or take it to work and i have my lunch i have my dinner after the burrata is this knorr or knorr cubes i buy the pack of 24 and yes some of you might will be saying that why me she's using this she's a nurse it is not a good option but it gives taste to the food i use it in my dal i use it in my any kind of vegetable rice and it kind of give it a good taste so we are doing a lot of bad things to our body our environment so I mean I should be more considerate but I love it it's another topic so also one more thing that I like is this fried onion it is one of the best thing you can buy in any Indian grocery store it's not that expensive, but it helps out a lot when you have a busy schedule. I don't have to chop my onion, peel my onion, I'm just ready to go. Yeah, onion chopping does not take more than five minutes or maybe two minutes, but this is the world country problem. <laughs> that is a task for us to peel and chop onion. So anyhow, this helps me out a lot after my two babies, this is my third baby, so I know what, uh, you know what I mean. Now move on to uh, spicy. This is not the complete list, but I'm just taking you along with me and we will see what kind of spices and things I use. So I use... Uh, this is a meat tenderizer. We use a lot of barbecue. Not a lot of barbecue, but I, my husband loves meat. He is a carnivorous. So I love papaya, raw papaya to tenderize the meat. But if I do it once in a while, that papaya costs me, cost me more than the meat. So you know what I'm saying. So this the main ingredient is raw papaya is dry don't go bad I'm so sorry don't go bad and I just love it um, then I use chaat masala as you all know I'm a blended family chaat masala serves the purpose for all purpose kind of all purpose seasoning and I love a uh, chaat masala is not too spicy my husband's palate can handle it and i get the craving of my indian or pakistani food craving get fixed with this i use it in my dal i use it in my a lot of vegetable and melvin likes it too it's not too spicy for him sometimes my daughter can handle it this is recommended by me to by somebody cook with tuba she told me to buy it it's really good i know it's a ras malai some of you make good ras malai but i you know I, i'm not i don't like to cook a lot so i would just follow the recipe five cups of milk oh i need sugar 
egg okay when i make it we will see then for indian food craving i love dosa and this dosa i never get it perfect um like perf i never perfected it so i'm gonna try my hands on this one see how it comes out then i right along with this i saw another dosa it's kind of rava dosa i have never had it before it says reading three these staff makes a rava dosa the the instructions are simple i think simple for me i'm gonna see if i can make it or i will break it so we will we will we will see now no i'm not lazy at what i'm showing you it's ginger garlic paste um as you all know i don't uh, cook a lot of indian food or pakistani food uh, so if i do my ginger garlic paste by myself it go bad really quickly and i have freeze i have froze it and after it was frozen it kind of got dry like it was like something dry i don't know if it was ginger garlic paste or something else so i gave it a try twice i give up this thing lasts me for two months or three months and don't go bad i don't know i know it has preservative uh, some of you are might thinking that am i crazy no i'm not but it is still better to buy little bit preservative food and take it from home than buying a lot of preservative in the food and eat it and you know what i'm saying so it is another debate we can go on and on for those of you who cook traditionally you might hate me but this is my way out with my busy life okay i love asian cuisine this is pad thai it's uh rice noodles oh my god they could, i have i have eaten drunken noodles and they are so good these are fresh noodles so it will save me one is that boiling the noodle boiling the noodle is not something like you're making paya like some of you who are watching me uh paya i think that be feet it takes a lot of time but boiling noodle is not like that but that eight minute that is going to save me is a lot of time for me so yeah i'm gonna give it a try we might do another vlog and see how it go then for my snacks um this is kind of like a snack it's really really hot i take it with my like coffee and sometimes i just open it up put them in the individual ziploc bag a small snack bags and take it along with me to work for my coffee break i just eat those so i got two varieties this was on sale it's barbecue chana chur i see something in arabic too so it's very international more more international than me then i have chicken it's a complete two complete chicken that have been cut into eight pieces for chicken curry chicken biryani and what else chicken in hari well everything going to be made by a mix okay so don't think i'm so creative then i had chicken legs lately i have been trying to eat um uh, more protein less carb so i'm going to be marinating it with the onion um lemon juice and some tikka tikka masala and that's going to be my lunch for two days okay moving on to no actually then this is my cake or toasted cake kind of thing it is sweet one time i bought it it was really hot and it it really burned my tongue but this one fresh and crispy it doesn't say hot anywhere so i bought three they were also on sale 
I will keep one and my mother-in-law loves it, so I'll give her one, two packs. Also the paratha, I gave it to her, she loves it too. Remember my in-laws are Puerto Rican, so they love my Indian or Pakistani food. These are plantain, green plantain. I'm gonna cut them into little chunks and I will boil them with the peel. And when I make my chicken tikka, as you can see, I will just go ahead and eat that vegetable with it. So that's how I'm just going around. I have some green pepper. I have some chicken ready to be cooked. Then I got tomato. This is something I bought. I don't know what to do with it. Cook with Tuba told me she got a recipe. I am gonna give it a try. I want to make it with chana dal. I have eaten it somewhere. Um, just wish me good luck that this thing come out right. And I mean, it's not that a big deal. If not right, I can still eat it with paratha. Not a big deal. Then I have some sil parsley. It's not cilantro. It's a parsley. I can show you. I am going to be making some chimichurri sauce. This is flat leaf parsley. It's Italian, babe, by the way. I'm gonna be making it with some, I'm gonna use it for chimichurri sauce and we will see how it goes. I have some shallots. They are kinda onion, but I heard they have more intense flavor than onion. Then I have my cauliflower. I will just do cauliflower and potato and some tomato and we will see. I mean, I will freeze uh, one half and keep one half, eat it and be done with it. Uh, like I have food when I cannot cook. So with paratha, it will make us such a pretty roll. This chicken, I'm going to wash it, drain it really well and freeze it into three different Ziploc bags. So when I'm ready to cook, I will just have to thaw, bring it out, thaw it, and I'm ready to cook. This one also, I'm gonna just marinate one pack and leave the rest in the freezer. So I hope you like my little international haul. Oh, wait a minute, one thing I just did not show you. If you can see this, this is Ayatul Kursi. It's Arabic. And I just, it just kind of caught my attention. I just could not pass it on. It's some kind of wood. It's not some kind, it is wood, kind of calligraphy. And if you can see, yes, yeah, so I bought it. It wasn't like expensive, it was $3. I'm gonna be hanging this on to my entryway and hopefully this is part one for the vlog you can see what i have i'm gonna get cooking i might be giving you a little glimpse in the part two so this was all my haul international so pakistani that kind of look arabic it has arabic in the back there um asian indian Indian Pakistani international 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 potato everybody eat chicken everybody eat very much international the toast uh, It's is in English there is a little uh, Little kind of thing Okay, it's from Bangladesh So you see another international uh, this is Caribbean, the, the, uh, the, um, I just phase out. This is Caribbean, these are green plantain. So guys, this is my pretty little haul. And I will be, now I have to let you guys go. It's 12.30 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking because the little two monsters are sleeping. I will see you in the second vlog. Hopefully I can show you what did I cook, how I freeze and everything. So until then, bye, take care of yourself and keep loving. Bye-bye, see you, bye.